But some of these heroes are freaking hot, dude. Damn, like, she's freaking hot. She's not bad. Even she's looking good. What is that? Yo, this is realistic as hell. Damn, mad realistic. Is she wearing a cup? She's not that hot. And this guy's a guy. Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer and I've got a whole new game for you guys today. Uh, this is League of Angels Paradise Land guys and I have been messing with this game for quite a while now. It's been a couple of weeks and I'm loving it. I'm not gonna lie. This game is pretty fun. So I wanted to introduce this to you guys. Um, if you follow me already, if you want to see more content about this game, please leave a like so I know you guys enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, if you're following me about League of Angels, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know if you guys want more content about this game, because this has been a lot of fun for me. I'm enjoying it a lot. Anyways, what this video is going to be about is just showing you guys my team. I really just want to show you guys what I'm working with real quick right now, a quick introduction, and let you know why it works so good together, right? Now, this is not the hottest girl in the game, but she's a freaking beast. And uh, your number one hero in the game will always be featured in the background, right? So if yours looks different than mine, that's why. Because uh, whoever's your strongest is going to be your featured hero there. So um, let's get right to it. Alright, so first things first. For, Alright, so first things first. Ah. Alright, so first things first, guys. Before I begin, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not all smoke. This is why I wanted to show you guys that uh, I'm ranked number one and I've been here for since pretty much day one. The team that I'm working with is awesome, great synergy, it works great together. And I just wanted to let you know, this is the proof, I've been number one for a while. As you can see, this is the battle reports, I haven't really lost a battle, maybe once or twice. Uh, the second guy there, same level as me, and uh, still really can't fuck with me right now. So, anyways, that's the proof, alright, so let's get right into the team. Okay, here we go. So, this is the heroes that I've deployed. As you can see, there are many other heroes that you can choose from, alright? Uh, what you all notice, first of all, let's begin with, over here. These heroes, the purple ones, they are a weaker class, alright? You have three classes as of right now. You have the purple, you have the orange, and you have the red. Orange is legendary. Uh, red is... Actually, red is like legendary. Orange is like mythical. And um, purple is whatever. I don't really know how you classify them anyways. But what what matters is choosing your heroes pretty carefully, alright? This is a lot different than other games because you can actually switch your heroes. We'll get into that a lot later videos, right? But for now, it's just going to be a quick introduction. So what I mean by that is you can convert all of your heroes into another hero. So let's just say I have... Uh, Draconia here and she is a tank you know she's a defensive tank if I don't like her and I really just want to switch her for somebody like um, let's just say the Zen Guardian if I want to switch her for him because he's a tank as well I can literally just convert all of her items all of her stats all every, not all of her stats but her stars everything into him so he will pretty much take everything that she has which means you really don't um, need to work on all these heroes. You only literally need to work on six heroes in the whole game, right? You don't have to work on anybody else. You can always move heroes around. The only catch is, um, Theresa here, she is red. She's the only red hero in the game, so you cannot, obviously, there's no other red. You cannot transfer her. Also, this guy here, Eldril, Eldro, Eldradil. Uh, this guy, Michaela, and this bad boy here, the Earthshaker. These guys are mythical heroes, right? So mythical heroes can only be transferred into mythical heroes. But I'm rambling on too much about that, alright? That will be at a later video. Right now, this is the guys that I'm working with. Here's how you break it down. Down here, you can click, these are your attack. These are all my attack units right now. You can choose from any one of these heroes. Attack. Uh, Michaela here. She's more of a pay to win hero. To be honest. You have to pay to get her. She's not a free hero. So I wouldn't recommend her to be honest. Even if you pay to win. She's not that great. That might sound weird at first. Because she's pay to win. 
she's really good at AoE damage, all right? But when you get later on into the game, especially uh, when it comes to 3-on-3 three -three battles or if it comes to arena battles, AoE is not that big of a deal. For some reason, single target damage is more important than AoE. So, I'm, I'm, I'm having some kind of feelings to change Michaela, to be honest. Um, let's go for Aurora. Aurora is literally the best DPS hero in the game at this moment, alright? So right now, she is the number one DPS hero in this game. She's single target damage. She does a lot of freaking damage, man. She is insane. Great for the, you know, your guild bosses. Great for a lot of situations. Great for 3 on 3. So, right now, I would put her as one of the best. Maybe, Teresa is probably the best hero in the game. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely the best hero in the game. She does a lot of good things. I'm not going to break down all her abilities right now. Because uh, she's just really, really good. But uh, she's number one. And Aurora will have to be number two for attackers. If I had to choose a number three at the moment right now, I would have to say... Let me see here. Frozen Heart is really good. The only problem with her is her ability is not... It's very, her ability is random, right? So she's going to randomly hit and every, different targets each battle. So you can never really predict what she's going to do. Crimson Lord is pretty good as well. She's AoE as well as Michaela. If you're going to team up AoEs, um, you know what I mean? An AoE type of team, Michaela with Crimson Lord and also Frozen Heart. That would be a pretty cool combo that you can run for AoE damage. You know, you can do that. Uh, Night Sentinel is a beast. He just got demoted to purple, but that's still fine. You can always promote him to orange, and he's a beast. Let me just say that. Single target damage, all right? Myst uh, Mysteria is also another single target damage. She's very, very good. Dark Knight is a, a lot more of a um, debuffer because his ability uh, lowers your opponent's defense, all right? So that's another pretty good hero, but personally, right now, I went with Teresa. She's a beast. She's expensive though. I don't know if you want to go with Teresa. If you're trying to have to enjoy the game without spending money, I would not recommend Teresa either. Michaela is another pay to play hero. Uh, Aurora, she's a free to play. She's really, really good. If you're going to go free to play, go Aurora. Uh, she's very good. Frozen Heart is a beast. Night Sentinel is good. You can literally go with any one of these heroes, guys. The balance in the game is very, very good. But let's just say the best free to play hero is Aurora, right? For attackers, let's go with defense. Ha! Defense. The good thing about defense is right now there's only five heroes that are released. The best one, I would say, is Draconia. She's very, very good. She's a support defensor, meaning she can block your uh, opponent's attacks, all right? So she gets in front of your own allies and takes damage instead of them taking damage. So she would have to... Her, uh, Headless Horseman, Zen Guardian, they're all really, really good. I'd put Draconia as number one. I would put Zen Guardian and the Horseman actually pretty tight. They're both very good. But Draconia 1, Zen Guardian 2, and the Headless Horseman number 3, alright? Those are the top 3. Um, don't sleep on Templar. Even though he's purple, if you promote him, he's a great healer, alright? He's a healer tank. Very, very cool. Late game, I can definitely see him being very good. But for now, this is my, my tier. So I went with Draconia as my, um, my defense. Let's move it on to support here. There's a couple of good support heroes. The High Priestess, she's the best healer in the game. Dora is actually really, really good as well, alright? Not only does she heal, but she supports very well. She recovers HP. And she gives your team some immunity for a turn, which is very, very cool. I haven't gone with her just yet because I really don't know who to replace her with. Because I really like the High Priestess. She's the number one healer in the game, like I said. But those are the top two, alright? If you're going to have a make a choice, go with uh, High Priestess or Dora. Those are the top two when it comes to support. Moving on to Control. Now, Control, you also have a couple of good heroes here. Um, Eldredil, like I said, he is a... You know, he's a hero which you have to pay to promote. So it's a lot more harder to promote this guy all the way. Uh, the second best hero would have to be Electa when it comes to control. She's very, very cool. She confuses your opponents. So she would have to be number two control hero in the game. Arcing Spirit. I have not used him just yet. But he's also a pretty cool control hero, I might say. Uh, summons Lightning to the Sky. Attacks all enemies. So he's an AoE control unit. 
But in my opinion, I would say Electa is your best bet as a free-to-play hero, okay? If you are trying to spend money, then Eldradil will probably be better because this guy hits a lot more heroes and he, I feel like he's a lot better in the arena, but PvE versus everybody, she's probably a lot better, right? So Electo would have to be the one that you should go with. Um, now, the reason why you're, you, you actually need to have one of everything, guys. Let's go to the next step here. If you go to your formation, as you can see, this game is a little bit different because you can prematurely set up your formations for all the battles, arenas, three on three battles, everything you can preset your um, team. Uh, as you can see there, you have auras on top of my head here. You have different auras. Now, the reason why you need at least one of each of the categories, you need one attacker, one defense, one support, and one control for each team is because they give you a group aura. So for instance, let me take out Draconia here. And if you noticed, my group damage reduction dropped. I had zero. There is no percent damage reduction because I don't have a tank in there. Um, once you put Draconia in there, all of a sudden you have a 12% gain in your damage reduction, all right? The same thing will happen if you take your control hero out. See, I took control hero Eldradil out and my group ultimate regain is zero. There's nothing there. So that is why you need one of each one, right? So uh, that is up to you how you want to shape up your team. Uh, I've decided to go with three attackers, three DPS heroes, Michaela, uh, Theresa, and also Aurora there. Those are my three attackers. Is that the best strategy? You never know. You, you can have so many different strategies. You can go two tanks. You can go two control, two support, two attack. Whatever you want your strategy to be. This is what I'm rolling with, guys. So, um, like I said, Michaela is... She was my favorite at first because she was really, really good to start off. But she has fallen off a lot for me. So, I'm thinking about changing her right now. The, the rest of the guys I love... Pretty much, I'm very happy with Draconia. I'm happy with uh, the High Priestess. She heals a lot. Eldradil is pretty cool too. So, this is the team that I'm going to roll with for now, all right? Um, this down here is your team skills, all right? You have all these different type of skills that you can choose from for your battle. Your first one is you enter the, um, you know, your entire team. As soon as it enters the battlefield, it raises their attack by 10%. That's really cool. You might want to switch to that if you're going to be doing... Um, Raids, if you're going to be doing anything where you need to do more damage, that's a cool ability to have. Also, Pursue is another cool ability. Each turn, uh, your opponent is going to take 30% extra damage, right? This one is a random opponent. The enemy unit that loses the most HP in the turn. So, each turn, the enemy unit that uses loses the most HP will lose an additional 30% damage, right? That's a pretty cool ability as well. Unity is nice. March is nice. You can read those what they're about. The Ultima, I kind of roll with that one most of the time because it lets your whole team regain its Ultima. Extra 40 Ultima for an action, all right? So that helps out a lot, which means you can get more Ultimates. And that's where really your most of the power is from, is from your Ultimates. All right, so uh, you can choose any one of these. I normally run with Ultima, like I said. And then you can choose... If you're going to be auto-fighting, a lot of the battles are auto-fought, you can choose which hero you want to go first, alright? So in this situation, I have my High Priestess first. Normally, I like to go something like this, you know, where I'm trying to do more damage. Theresa goes first, and then when, it's, when your ultimate builds back up, then Aurora goes next, and so on and so forth, alright? So, let me take you guys on a battle and show you how it actually works. Alright guys, so here we are in a battle. This is an auto fought battle. So there you go. My first ultimate starts off with Theresa. She does her first ultimate off. And then the problem is these units that we're facing right now, they are... They suck to face. They are really, really bad because what they do is they have their shield up. When you attack them, you actually deal the same amount of damage to yourself as you're dealing to them, which kind of blows. So once their shield is up, you're screwed. But uh, at this point, I'm a little bit overpowered than them. I should take them out pretty quickly here. So let's go! Oh, he's not dead yet. Uh, the attacks that you're doing there, there's two different sequences, all right? You have your normal ultimates that they, once their energy fills up all the way, your ultimate will automatically go off. And then you have one team ultimate that you can see down there. Once it reaches 100, then this one, as you can see now, is Michaela's turn. That's her ultimate. You know, she has that ultimate. Each hero has a different ultimate that you want to use. 
and we three star that that's really cool all right guys so that's pretty much how the battles work and that's pretty much all i really wanted to show you today just a quick intro as to what heroes i'm using for my team right now there's a lot more to do in this game guys i would love to break it down for you like i said leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a like to let me know that you guys want more content about this game and i hope to see you guys real freaking soon all right till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night i'll see you guys next time